While Speaker Paul Ryan was touring Israel, a Wisconsin businessman announced he wants Ryan's job, not as House Speaker, but as the representative for Wisconsin's first congressional district. One America's Neil McCabe has more from Washington. Wisconsin businessman Paul Nalen announced his campaign to challenge Speaker Paul Ryan in the Republican primary held in August. Nalen told One American News he knows it is going to be a tough fight, but he is not alone. I'm not, I'm not kidding myself here to think that this isn't going to take a big effort from a lot of people. We know we, where we got to get the votes. We know, we know what demographics we got to go after. Um, we just have to keep in mind, Goliath was bigger, but David won. Nalen said he supported Paul Ryan in the past, but he feels betrayed by Ryan's support for the president's Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal. The businessman said he was also put off by how Ryan campaigned in the district against the Export-Import Bank, which gives corporations tax-supported low-interest loans, but after Capitol Hill conservatives closed the bank, the speaker revived it. Nalen said Ryan votes against the district and his own promises. So you step back and you ask yourself, why is Paul Ryan voting the way he is? Why is, why is Paul Ryan voting against this district? 83% of Paul Ryan's campaign cash came from outside this district. And of that 83%, 65% of it came from Washington, D.C. and Alexandria, Virginia. Conservatives have searched for months for a challenger to Speaker Paul Ryan. Conservative operative Larry Ward, who runs D.C. Media, told One American News Ryan's drift from conservatism broke his heart. Almost a decade ago, uh, when Paul Ryan was still under the tutelage and, and, uh, of Jack Kemp, right. the great Jack Kemp, you know, I used, to, I used to call him my congressman crush, and he's really <laughs> fallen <laughs> very far from that. Ward said after the fight to depose Speaker Boehner and block Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy from succeeding him, Capitol Hill conservatives ran out of gas when it came time to block Ryan. It was exhaustion because we had fought a hard battle to beat somebody who would have been disastrous as Speaker of the House, and they put somebody who we couldn't defeat right after that, and we were exhausted. We were punched out. Matthew Boyle, the Washington bureau chief for Breitbart.com, said Ryan was never really a conservative. Paul Ryan has been presented to the American public by the donor class, by the political class here in Washington, D.C., as a conservative, as a grassroots conservative, for his entire political career. In reality, he is a creation of the donor class. They basically built him in a, uh, in a petri dish. Boyle said primaries are the first step, but if primary opponents against Speaker Ryan and other GOP leaders fail, there is one other option. In many cases, it would potentially make more sense for conservatives getting behind Democrats to take out establishment Republicans. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington.